Hey everybody, J Maxicus back here with another video for you guys. I am doing a video on pretty much playing with a budget. So if you don't have a lot of gems and you feel like you don't have a really good cards, like any legendaries, um, you can still do the classic challenge. It's only 10 gems and you can do it without any legendaries. And I was able to do 12 wins here in this classic challenge with no legendaries. So the first two losses were actually I was trying out something else, a different variation of the deck until I switched to, to this one. It's basically a hog uh, kind of counter push deck uh, with some cycle cards in it. Uh, and there is some counters to it, but you can outplay those counters and you're able to get the 12 wins. So here is the deck. Well, first, I guess we can open up this chest quickly just to see. Goblin Barrel. So you're able to get some good value with that, get some good coin uh, to help you uh, with if you have lack of gems. So here's the deck. We've got uh, the One Elixir Ice Spirit, which is uh, really good for cycling and for uh, stopping certain pushes, as you'll see in the video. Uh, we have Zap because there are so many bats in the meta right now, uh, as well as it's good for Skarmy. It's even good for Goblin Gang. Um, to take out the Spear Goblins. Um, not so good with the Goblins themselves, uh, but that's okay. Then we have the uh, Knight um, as a tank unit uh, to help us to push with our Hog or to counter any uh, units that they may be pushing that we need the Knight for, such as Elite Barbarians or uh, uh, Mega Knight or Bandit. It's great counters for those ones. We also have the Musketeer, great ranged unit. It's really, uh, it's it's out of the fireball range, so they have to use a high expensive spell in order to get rid of it. Um, and it's just a really good counter, especially when you have the knight tanking and then you have the Musketeer and you're able to counter push afterwards. It's a really good combo. Then you have Tornado. Uh, I use Tornado because it's really good against uh, Goblin Barrel, Miner, and Hog, uh, as well as Balloon. Uh, and tanks to activate your king tower because activating your king tower saves you so much HP on your towers uh, your princess towers so it is very critical that we have tornado on this deck and then of course the win condition of the hog and there is some uh, combos that you can do with that so we'll get into some replays here so as you can see here here I was using a slight different variant. I wasn't using Musketeer, I was using Baby Dragon and uh, Mega Knight. Uh, my first two losses here, and then that's when I switched over to Musketeer and Ice Spirit. To get more cycle, uh, it's very important. Um, right now, a lot of the meta that I'm seeing is this Meta Knight, Mega Knight, uh, Electro, Electro Wizard deck. Um, this guy had a different variation of it, um, but... It's one that I'm seeing a lot in the challenges. So uh, it's kind of funny that you're able to counter all these legendary cards with this uh, with this non-legendary and only one epic card, really. So we'll get into a replay here to show you. All right, so here's the first deck that I played against. It was a variation against the Meta Knight deck. Um, it was a lot of what I'm seeing. I'm probably half of my matches, or a little bit more than half of my matches, are the Mega Knights since it's so powerful right now. But here's a variation where he's using four legendaries in my first match. So let's get into it. So here, I almost always try and surprise the opponent uh, with something like a hog push because that way they have to play some sort of counter and usually they won't have the right counter in rotation so they'll waste a lot of elixir on a bad counter such as a log or a princess here he had the inferno tower so i know i'm up one elixir so i'm able to start a musketeer push in the back so overall it was effective i don't really have any counters for the princess in the tech except for fireball so we're just gonna fling that at her get some damage on the tower as well don't know what I'm really dealing with here until I see the Mega Knight. And I'm like, oh great, another Mega Knight deck with Inferno Tower and Princess. So, I'm just trying to put spells into rotation here to kind of stop his big push that he's got going on here. Uh, Goblin Barrel and Miner 
always, always, and hog, always try and activate your king tower. It is very crucial that you do that. Activating the king tower gives you so much more fighting power on defense. It just adds so much more DPS for stopping those pushes. Goblin barrel is so much more weaker. Miner so much more weaker. Hog so much more weaker when that king's tower is activated. Same with tanks. So always try and do that. Here, I know he's probably got the Inferno Tower rotation, so that's why I threw the Ice Spirit out, but he had a great counter there with the Log. Uh, I zap there. I'm able to get two shots off with a Musketeer, so worth for me. Uh, I know we're sitting at about the same Elixir. It's very important that you try and count Elixir as often as you can. Try and do the math and add it up in your head. Here I put down an easy counter. I don't know why he put the princess so close but I'm able to get him two for one with the three elixir so I know I'm three elixir ahead since he spent six I counted it all with three so now I just want to get my hog into rotation so I can push with it set up with another musketeer in the back for the push then I put the hog early with the ice spirit because I knew he was probably going to do a mega knight and there he goes he spends nine elixir trying to stop my one hog push just trying to get my knight into rotation to stop this. I've been noticing a lot of lag at certain points in the game. I'm not too sure why since I have like high, high, high speed internet. I uh, don't know why it keeps doing it, but when I max out on Elixir, for some reason it will lag on me and I'm not able to put the counter down right away. But anyways, I'm just countering here and trying to get as much damage off as I can. Just throw another fireball at the princess and the tower. Just trying to get as much value as I can. Here I have to play the Musketeer in the back, start my rotations all over again, put the Knight down for the counter. He has no Zap and his Princess just died, so these bats are getting some huge value going on. And now I got a big counter push going on. I'm able to Fireball onto the tower and the Princess and able to get some good damage off with double Musketeer. I'm able to take that Electric Wizard out, no problem. He's just throwing out Desperation counters at this point. Anything that comes into rotation, I have huge elixir leads, so I know I'm able just to throw down my rotation and be able to get to the hog again. Inferno Tower, he's not going to be able to play his Mega Knight because it's 7, so I know I'm just going for the win here and push him with everything that I got. Just one fireball way after this one connects, and I got it in the bag. Now, game's over, I can just zap here, but I like to just toy around with my opponents sometimes, especially when they're so chatty, so... Just doing a counter push on the other side, making him play his cards until I zap him for the win. And that is a weaker version of the Mega Knight deck that uh, I played against. Alright, we're going to just jump into our second match here. One that I was fairly confident I was going to lose and not get the 12 wins with this deck. Which pretty much went 12-0 and 0 if I didn't play those other variations of it. So here we go. Here I'm just trying to go off with the cheeky hog push right off the bat again. Just to get so much value. Uh, just in case they don't have that counter that's put into place. Here I thought I got away with it. Thought my opponent was slow clicking his screen or something. And didn't have a really good counter. So I'm able to get huge damage off. But they got a Night Witch pushing with a lot of skeletons. And I don't have really anything that can deal with a ton of splash. So I just play the Musketeer. Thinking she'll be able to chip down and I'd be able to counter with the Knight distracting. But I did not expect that Rage spell whatsoever. And it's just going to destroy me. It wrecks me so hard I have to put Zap down. Trying to prevent as much damage as I can. And it's just futile at this point. I put Bats down. I even know I'm going to take some King's Damage Tower here. Because... It was just such an effective push, and the rage really caught me off guard. Here I see the pump, and I pretty much think it's over, and that I'm not going to be able to get the 12 wins, and that I could start fresh again. But uh, we, I just have to keep pressing on and hope that he makes mistakes I'm able to capitalize on. Here he puts a tank in the background, so I'm able to do a hog push on the left side quickly just to try and get it down as much as I can, at least hopefully salvage a crown and uh, able to salvage my tower. Here he's going for a giant push on the left side. I don't know why he played that Inferno Tower or Inferno Dragon. Didn't really make much sense to hear. I know he's going to use the Rage Spell any moment, so I'm able to time more Tornado with the Fireball in order to kill the Witch and do lots of damage uh, to the Giant. Here he has a late Fireball. He just thought he was going to be able to wreck me again with the same push. But, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. It wasn't going to happen this time. 
So just hoping he's gonna play another tank in the background. So I just do another push with the hog. Don't know really why I sent the ice spirit. Uh, because I haven't really seen any really good counter to it. So he's just doing the same push on the right side. And what I say about fool me once, fool me twice. I can't believe he's gonna try and go for this again. Except no rage spell this time. This time he plays an Inferno Dragon and then a late rage spell. So now the Inferno Dragon with the wizard is just wrecking me. I'm just trying to do everything I can to stop this huge elixir push. His giant's able to get off one hit, but I have to pull it away as quickly as I can to my king tower, or else I'm going to lose this match. Hands down. Uh, it's pretty futile, but I'm giving it all I got. I know I have to try at least. So Here he puts down a peck. I thought it was a really bad move by him because you spend so much elixir, you waste the fireball on my bats, and you're taking double damage from the king tower. I mean, you should have just played it in the back in the one lane. So now I'm able to get off a really good counter push here because my musketeer is still alive. Fireball his wizard and just hitting with my musketeer. He's trying another rage giant spell again, but I'm able to rotate it back to the king's tower. Now I have to be careful because I don't want my king's tower to go down, so I'm trying to throw out as much counters as I can to stop him. He's trying to fireball for the win. I know he's down on elixir at this point, and I can just push for the easy, easy hog win, especially with zap in rotation. I'm able to just freeze the tower and his wizard and get the win. Very close. That one I. I thought I was done for but never give up always know that if you get unlucky on a push and they do a great counter push that you can outplay them if you know you're a stronger player than, than that so here I have more decks that I play against uh, I'm gonna show you two more because a lot of it is the same it's like Mega Knight this one was just an awful deck that I played against. Everything was too high of elixir. But uh, I'll show you another Mega Knight deck. One that I feel is more of the meta and a lot more better at the moment. And that would have to be this one right here. This one from Nova ITA5 clan. He's got the Mega Knight, the Electro Wizard, the Hog. Oh well, a really good deck. I've seen this deck be able to go 12 and 0 on grand challenges. I've been able to do it myself. It is a really strong deck at the moment, but if you are able to play it right, you can get the win if you out-rotate and out-play with your Tornado. So let's jump into that match here. So here, no cheeky Hog Rider push that I can do, but I do have the Musketeer that I'm able to throw in the back, and it's able to just wrap my Elixir up without really putting any resources towards him. So I put that out not knowing exactly what I'm playing against at this point. I see the Ice Golem, and I'm not too sure it could be many other things because Ice Golem, there's a lot of right now. But he plays the Hog, so I'm just trying to get my Tornado in rotation and able to activate my King's Tower, and that's going to save me a lot of Elixir, or not Elixir, but uh, Princess Tower health down the road. So here I'm able to get my Hog into rotation, not too sure what he's going to be playing, but I play a Night Hog counter on the left side because I'm not too sure what he's running. I thought he was just running a cycle deck, but he has the Mega Knight, which is devastating. So here I have to counter his uh, Wizard on the one side because uh, that was the tower he was originally going for, so I'm trying to save as much HP. Here I want to play the, the Knight, but I don't want to get those bats damaged, so I try and do a very bad tornado here, and I take so much damage. I should have just played the Knight. That was a very big misplay by myself. Now I'm down on Elixir, and I'm just trying to do a counter push with what I've got because I know he's pretty much at full Elixir now. Here he's got the right counters in rotation, but I'm able to get some huge damage off on the tower. It's just not able to counter it well enough. Here he has to play the Electro Wizard and maybe a little counter it with the Bass. It's such a great counter for so many cards, especially if they don't have Zap in rotation or they zap too late. It's just not good to zap one bat just to do one Electro Wizard damage on the tower. Here he's doing something really weird. Uh, he's trying to put a Mega Knight in the back. Not too sure why, because that is a huge counter for the Hog. And now I'm able just to do an easy counter with my Knight and with my Musketeer, do some Tornado Ice Wizard. It's just able to stop so much damage at this point. Put down my bats. He's gonna zap those, but this Mega Knight is not long for the world, especially when I put my hog to distract him just so my musketeer can 
stay alive as much as possible. Here I was just trying to zap in order to save as much as I could. Putting down the Ice Wizard just so I can get as much damage off on this counter push. Now I'm really down on Elixir. It's a really hard deck to play against. Uh, but here I have a good counter with the Tornado and he's trying to put down his Goblins. I know that it's pretty much even at this point and I have to probably just Fireball for the win. So just going to try and do a counter push, baiting out his Mega Knight on the right side and Fireballing his Wizard on that side because that's the side I want to go down. I want him to play his Mega Knight on the other side. That way I'm able to save my left side tower because I know he's not going to be playing on that side very much. Here I put a Knight down for the uh, Mega Knight, just using Tornado to just prevent as much damage. I have to do a really bad Fireball there because I'm just trying to save as much tower damage as I can. Because I really want to get the 12 wins here, I'm so close, this is going to be for my 11th win. Here he puts down a Mega Knight, he's just trying to rotate to his Hog I believe at this point. I put down the Musketeer to get some more damage off. Gonna have to do a Tornado here to, psych to combo with an Ice Spirit, but his wizard's able to counter that. Oh, I'm hurting here. I have to do a bad zap and just hope that I'm able to stave off enough to try and get the three crowns. I have one last chance here, and that's to hope that uh, he doesn't play his Mega Knight. Once he plays his Ice, uh, his Electro Wizard for some reason, he has to do a bad Fireball. I'm able to play my Ice Spirits and Fireball the two for the win, just barely. But I should have lost that match because this deck is able to counter it so well. So I was able to just stick with it and outplay him at the end. And that's what you gotta do with these decks. You just gotta you just gotta be patient and not give up. So we are here we have the last match for the twelfth win with this deck. Uh, it's against a Lava Hound deck. Of course I don't know that until later on in the game. But of course, I've got the awesome Ice Wizard Hog combo to start off the match here with. So I'm playing that off just to get as much damage as I can. And he's got a Bandit, which is okay, but it's not going to prevent n enough damage for that uh, Hog. And then I got the Knight counter here for the Bandit. Just the Knight is such a good counter, just because Ice Golem here would be able to counter as well, but he's able to counter push which is so important to do some chip damage so boom one two swings still there whereas the ice golem would have been probably dead so here i got the counter for uh both the bats and the lava hound with musketeer and bats uh, i'm gonna freeze that inferno dragon i have to play the knight here and i'm probably gonna have to do a tornado to keep the inferno dragon away from my tower He's got the bandit here. I know I'm going to be taking some damage, but I play the bats down. Just any the the bats is the really best counter I have for his air musketeer. Does counter the lava hoon, but when it splits up, it's kind of hard to deal with. So unless I have the knight, which I have to use the knight for his uh, bandit. So here he's trying to do just a, a balloon rush with no tank, which is very bad. You should never do that. He's trying to even zap my uh, Musketeer. And so now that I know that he uses Zap, I know I can play Bats as soon as I can uh, because he doesn't have uh, any counter for them now because he rotated his Zap out. So I'm able to play Bats here to get rid of the Goblins and take some uh, Bandit here and counter push. Hopefully going to get this tower with this push because he doesn't have a lot of ground units. He just used both of them. So... Just as his Inferno Dragon, which is going to be a big push on the left side. I want to try and keep that tower safe as much as possible because if I'm able to just stave off for another 50 seconds, this game is mine and I win. So he's playing the Balloon. I do a Tornado and a Fireball combo. And he does a really good thing here where he splits pushes on both sides. I have to do a zap, but it's too early, so he's able to get off the damage on the tower. And I'm just trying to play both sides here, which is kind of hard to do sometimes. So he's very smart and able to do that counter push. I have to do an Ice Spirit for the Inferno Dragon because it is just wrecking my King's Tower, and I would have lost the match if I didn't do that. Put down the Musketeer for a counter. Here he's got his balloon in rotation. I got Tornado and Fireball, so I'm going to do that combo. 
and put the bats down to distract the Inferno Dragon. I've got the Ice Spirit to distract the bandits. Now I'm able to counter push with the Hog. And try and get as much damage as off. I might even zap here to stop the Inferno Dragon. Yep, just to get more damage off. Just because he's a couple fireballs away from that now. Put down my Knights. Gonna put down my Bats and my Musketeer. Just trying to stop this damage here that he's trying to go on. This Tornado is such a good counter to use. It's so powerful against Balloon. And I know I pretty much got this in his bag because I was able to prevent so much damage with that tornado. And he wasn't able to get anything off with his 12 elixir push. I just got a huge counter push off. He knows it's a good game here. I got enough to do the zap and to do the uh, fireball for the win. For the 12th win. Well played. He was a pretty good opponent, but this tornado just did so much value. does so much value against the air units here, like Balloon. Uh... It's really one of the best MVPs in this deck. I'd say it's even more important than Zap is because it's able to prevent just so much damage. So yeah, that was the 12-0 deck for the Classic Challenge for On A Budget. So I hope you're able to learn things from this. Uh, please follow, like, and subscribe on my YouTube channel. I'll keep doing these videos one or two a week. Just trying to give you guys some more helpful tips out there to climb up the ladder, to get yourself more economy in the game, and to help you out. Uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more JMAX.